Good morning to you all. I thought I would start the day with another little video to put on YouTube. I know there's many of you out there. Some are members of Lighting Gallery. Uh, I wish we could bring other people in who are lamp collectors because I think they would find it quite good. Anyhow, end of the advert. Um, well, almost end of the advert. There's All Things Lighting which is a forum set in England and Gallery of Lights. So this is end, end of advert. Now getting back, I'm mainly known amongst a lot of things, some good, some bad, I'm only joking, um, of collecting lamps that have got filaments in them, um, incandescent lamps. I have got a couple perhaps more than a couple, of these discharge type lamps. Now I put both these up on the gallery and um, I learnt a bit. Um, let me tell you, let's have a little look at each one. They're made by two makers. Let's have a closer look. Here we can see the arc tube. Now incidentally the name arc originates from arc lamps that were invented or shown by Sir Humphrey Davy, an English scientist of many years ago. Don't ask me the dates. I'm number blind as I've said on many occasions. And um, the term arri arrived by the fact that when an arc was formed it would be in the shape of an arch and originally it was known as an arch. We got rid of the H and we now call it an arc. Bit more useless information which um, seems to, I don't know whether it's helped me or not, probably not. Anyhow, getting back to the lamp, this is the arc tube. This is, this is a sodium lamp or a natrium damp using the German term. Sodium, uh, the um, symbol for sodium is Na, which is in fact natrium. Um, you can see here it's got a little wire or metal strip down the length. This aids starting of the tube because this would obviously be used with a ballast or a choke unit which I haven't got at the moment. This is just showing you the, the actual lamp. As far as I know, it's, it's a worker. The tube looks fairly clean. Beautifully made. Now this example doesn't show a getter. When I sh show the next one, you'll see a getter. This is manufactured by Philips. Made in Belgium. The thing on there. Now, officially, it's a grow. It's a grow lamp. It's got on there grow. And I was told by someone that knows a load about lamps, James. You probably, I mean, you probably know the name. What he doesn't know about lamps isn't isn't worth writing about. Um, his information is always excellent and very interesting and he said that yes you these lights have a dosing now correct me if i'm wrong of mercury in them to enhance slight redness which is beneficial for plant growth plants tend to require blue and red and if you look at a normal grolux fluorescent tube or a Grolux compact fluorescent, which I've got a couple in the greenhouse, they emit a pinky light. Also, a similar lamp is used by butchers to enhance the colour of meat. It makes the meat look even redder than it really is. So you can imagine a nice steak on the butcher's slab with that light above it. They look very much like a Grolux but I think you'll find the actual colour is 
in a slightly different band to normal Growlux or I don't know if there's VHO very high output fluorescent lamps uh, they're available in the states across the pond but I don't think are available over here anyhow let's have a little close look I mentioned a getter well this I believe is not a getter I think and once again I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong that that is there to produce or not produce but to hold mercury so you get a mercury vapor inside the envelope but obviously not in the arc tube how it works I don't know but that's what I think it is and turning it round interesting to note and I haven't got one to show you is the UV lamps they make a very small one now with a filament uh, used for such applications as air fresheners or, or air pur purifiers I should say um, fish tank water cleaners which you pass the water over these this light which um, is very harmful to eyes to sterilize the water get rid of any of the uh, the green algae that may be in there anyhow I go off on a tandem like I always do anyhow that I believe is to provide a little bit of mercury vapor there's the lamp this is as I say is, is made by Philips there's the etch there Philips I have put both these up so you know the other one is also a grow lamp of the same type same wattage 400 if I can find the etch I will it was on there when I last looked. there it is if you can see it's made by Osram now this was manufactured over here in England I think this was probably after Osram was taken over by the German Osram which was owned by Siemens um, so I know this type of lamp was really specialised in England anyhow as you can see a silvered end to the, to the tube and the reason for that is we look inside there you can see a little ring arrangement or two ring arrangements they would be a getter now how that was operated once the tube was made sealed up you had to remove the last traces of air or oxygen and what they would do they would have a high frequency device outside and you'd fire the getter in the in the lamp and firing it it would produce this silvery effect and what is interesting if air did get in this silver effect would turn white which brings me on to radio valves which in most cases not all but in most had a getter and the same reason they would look silvery anyhow once again same idea the arc tube has that metal strip down there which aids starting and uh, once again this does produce a little bit of redness in the colour you'd probably not notice it but it in fact does anyway that more or less says all I'm going to at this stage the cap is a GES or Mogul Goliath Edison screw or Mogul they um, as I said before they do need starter gear and chokes and or a ballast to use them don't ever screw it into a normal lamp holder on mains 
if you did that there would probably be an almighty bang and the lamp would be completely destroyed. Now I know these are used by a lot of people that grow plants. Also a lot of people I've seen on TV where they've raided places for growing a certain type of plant. Not me. I wouldn't be see, seen dead grow, uh, growing that stuff. But you know what I mean. And I understand a lot of these are just taken by the police and destroyed. It's a great pity because a lot of collectors out there would like to get their hands on the lamps. Not for not for growing illegal stuff, but just to have in their collections. Anyway, I've got a, a ruler there just to show you the actual length. It's just un, under 12 inches. Don't ask me what that is in metric. I was brought up with the imperial system at school. So um, the, the uh, metric is, well, it's a case of living with it. I'm getting used to the temperature scale, slowly but sure. But why is it you buy milk and that's sold in pints, not litres? Anyway, I'm going to jump off of my hobby horse. And once again, any comments please make. I'll try and get back to you. Um, I'm hoping we'll get more of you joining the, uh, the lighting gallery forums. They're perfectly free. They don't cost a penny. You'd be most welcome. And as regards language, don't worry. Um, they're mainly in English, but I'm sure them speaking in German or French wouldn't be a problem. It would to me because I don't understand French or German, I'm ashamed to say. But there we are. Thanks for watching. Any comments, as I said, please subscribe. Please comment, good or bad comments. Don't mind. All comments are, are uh, what's the word, a good thing, whether they're good or bad. Anyhow, thanks again. Thanks, thanks for watching.